Hello, Jay here. Welcome to Ian's Battle. Today I'm going to show you how to make an exploding ground effect. The first thing I did was I made the small pieces of shrapnel. I put a dot of hot melt glue on a piece of rubber and then dipped the pebble into it and then pulled it out slowly and then allowed it to dry. Just take a few seconds. Probably going to want to make a fair number of these for this base. I then started applying rings to the base. I'm using hot melt glue and I'm giving it plenty of time to dry in between. Every ring I put down is slightly longer, has a slightly wider diameter than the one previously to give the base a little bit of a trumpeting effect. To do this, you want to make sure that each previous ring is completely dry and cool before you apply the next ring. As the hot melt glue can, if it's still warm, sink into the previous layer and it'll just turn into a mess of glue. As you put down more and more glue, irregularities will form and these are what you want as it helps to add a little bit of more naturalness to the base. Once you have the shape, the basic shape that you want, you can add more hot glue. And then once you have that done, you can then start applying your shrapnel. You can just put down a dot of hot melt glue and then apply the shrapnel. And there's the finished effect. The only thing left to do is apply your flocking material. I'm gonna be laying down some fine grit sand Make sure that you don't put any glue on the stems of the shrapnel, as those should remain clear. And there's the shrap and there's the explosion base ready for painting. If you'd like to see more of our content, please visit us at eonsabattle.com. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching.